is a video of my additions to Emmett's Heart Gears that are posted on Thingiverse. Let's see if I can bring up the Thingiverse file. Come on. The Screwless Heart Gears by Emmett. You can see right here, Thing 12208. And I said, you know, I really liked what one of the other Thingiverse users did when he added the motor to it, and I, forgive me, I've forgotten his name, but uh, I really liked what he did, and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to do it with this one. And I had an old Kaizen DC extruder motor from my Mark V extruder, and so I decided, well, I'm going to add it to this part. So what I did was that I opened up OpenSCAD, and I, let's see if I can bring it up here, design, compile. I opened up OpenSCAD and copied in the um, heart, the eighth heart gear, which is the uh, bottom heart gear, into a design and then uh, translated, a translated a pair of cylinders and uh, cut them out of the gear, which once this finishes compiling and rendering, You'll see right here. Um, and so what it is is basically just a gear with a hole in it. I probably should have made this large hole a little bit larger because it took quite a lot of force to cram it onto the, uh, the motor. However, it's also nice because I will never need to worry about that falling off. Even if I want it to, that might be a problem. Anyways, I took that, I shoved the motor in it, and then I put a dab of hot glue inside the one hole that was left in the base and pushed the uh, motor shaft into that hole with the hot glue still hot. And then when the glue dried, it links everything together fairly permanently. I don't think there's really too much of a way to pull it off other than pulling out the hot glue and making a mess and possibly breaking one of the gears of the um, printed, one of the printed gears of the heart. But the real fun stuff is what happens when you plug it in. I've just attached a little uh, USB power cable to the motor. The motor's meant to run on 12 volts, but I'm running it on 5 because it runs a little bit slower, just slightly over a revolution per minute. So when I plug it in, you'll see it start to turn. And it all turns really smoothly. And because this motor is a really torquey motor due to the heavy gearing, even at 5 volts and less than half an amp, it's able to turn no problem with just a couple little spots where it snags a bit, but I think those will probably wear out over time as it just drives and spins. And I will let it go through a full revolution here for you. You can see it's also, it's not super quiet, but also not super loud, and it's just the regular DC extruder motor. It's definitely a lot quieter outside of the extruder than inside of an extruder because it's not nearly dealing with as much torque. I could watch these gears for hours. And there you go, that's a full revolution. I'll show some other little detail points. You can see the motor shaft sticks in inside there. If it shoot through so you can see the computer screen behind it, it might show you some light. So there's a little motor shaft inside. It's just linked to the center, uh, the center block. And then the rest of the gears are attached with the standard pins. And it's probably a good idea if you're going to motorize to make sure your pins are fairly loose because the looser they are, the more smoothly the entire thing will turn when it's motorized. And since it's motorized, it's always going to be turning in the same way, so you don't need as much strength from the pins. Also, it's a really good idea to make sure that you clean up all these teeth, because they need to be very, very smooth to turn nicely. Let it finish off this turn. This file can be found on Thingiverse. I have uploaded it to the Thingiverse page and marked it as a derivative of the part by Emmett. And it can be found at Thingiverse thing number 16442. It's the motorized screwless heart gears uh, derivative. 
And I've just uploaded this part because it's the only one you need to make it work. And there it goes. And all that is is this base piece here. This piece right here. And I, if people, if enough people request it, I'll also upload the OpenSCAD script. That way people can mess with the numbers and plug in whatever numbers they need for any motors that they have that they want to use for this instead. And I'm working on a possible OpenSCAD variation of the core due to the fact that currently the parts, it's just hot glued in and I don't really like that so much. So I may make an OpenSCAD variation that includes a, um, a specially designed hole for the, uh, the, flat, the, the shaft of the single flat that the motor has. That way it'll fit a little bit better. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this, and if you like it, check it out on Thingiverse, and hit like, and download it, and print it yourself. Have fun.